if you were with me earlier, you know that I've been unboxing Vindication as part of Sci-Fi Fantasy Saturday Late Night Edition. Because I'm trying to get through this so I can maybe still get it to the table. Maybe not. But uh, I, I unboxed Vindication. I'll have a link to that in the description below. But guess what? We got more stuff to unbox. I just couldn't get to it all. I was trying, I was trying, I was trying, and could not get to it all. So this is the other uh, items that came in the bundle that was part of the uh, auction that I did uh, that I'm happy with it. I'm happy with the price uh, and the the content so far. This is pretty cool stuff. Uh, so uh, hunks of plastic, let's get to those a little bit later. This is an expansion that came out for Vindication. I believe this might be like the first expansion for it, but it's Leaders and Alliances. And one of the things that really uh, I found interesting or what, I, what attracted me to this expansion was that it had a solo bot or a solo um, capability uh, that added to Vindication. Vindication is a two to five player game. Now it's solo and you know how I am about solo stuff so this is really just an expansion there's this is not a standalone game you need to have vindication to play and this just adds more stuff so if you like vindication then why not get more stuff that you like um and one of the things that i'm a uh, kind of big on on expansion is are can i put it all back in the main box well the main box has very a specific game inserts and so i don't and this one i think has game inserts so probably not i don't like that but you know i live with it as i can so oh you get a new bag we get yet a bigger bag a bigger purple bag because we're a scumbag in this game um if you don't know you're the wretched scumbag and you're trying to get vindicated and redeem yourself in some res some respects so um we got a bigger bag we need a bigger bag and so we've got some more counters here or some more tokens i should say <laughs> used to counters some little wooden uh look pretty cool and i think this might be for maybe some of the guilds or or maybe this i don't know what these are for but this is goes with one of the expansions you got some cool little Looks like blue flames or something there, so that's kind of interesting. Um, we get the we, there were, these dice were in the original game, and it looks like they've maybe redone them, maybe make them a little bit more. I don't know if they've ch changed a side. Maybe I think that might be a new side. I'm not sure, but uh, they made them a little more pronounced, so you can use these dice now, and they have a they have a spot for them. Then you have your own little bases here because you're going to have. Uh, different tokens in the other game they had metal tokens where you're kind of kind of represented your character now i think we have you're, you're going to have a character that's in punch boards and i think they go in here we got an insert that doesn't fit into the big master insert what am i going to do so here's the leaders and alliance visual guide so this is basically uh i think this is probably explaining some of the some of the expand like the guild so here's the guild expand you know, part in here um and how you work that through you've got some new map regions in here you've got uh the guilds and monument expansion play variable rules so this not a lot of rules here so this is what you get in the box and i don't even know if these are page numbered i'm not seeing page numbered oh there we go so nine pages uh, before you get into like just overall uh, information. So nine pages of rules. I guess they're kind of rules. It's more of a, just kind of a guide. There are some rules in here on the guilds, but yeah, so not very much. Plus it's really small, you know, fits in a small box. Um, then you're going to get solo adventures. So this is one player. So this is how to play Vindication one player. And how many pages is that? Da, 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 da. looks like it's uh 20 pages concluding the back but it looks like you've got a cheat sheet on the back and if you've watched any of my videos you know i like when they use up space potentially dead space on the back and use it with charts or something that you might use in game 
quite a bit. Here's solo mode preparation. And you know I always page from the back forward. Maybe I'm used to reading Chinese. Okay. So that's pretty cool. So that's the rules are Solo Adventure 2. So these are just the different solos. So this is how you play Vindication Solo. So that's cool. Then we get these boards here. These are, wow, look at those. Those are thick. Nice and thick and sturdy. Man, look at You got some sound and heft to that. You gotta love that. That's some, that's some cardboard there. I got my money's worth on that cardboard. And um, I think these are... God, I can't remember what these are. These are the are these the different guilds or these are somebody I think this might be the guild maybe. Anyway, this is something that a new a new expansion that you use this and um, you kind of go up in influence or recognition on them and you can use these points to cash these in for like um, honor I believe. And and they might and they you can use some special abilities. There's like a um, uh, basic and a more advanced, I guess, special abilities. But th these, this just adds to the game. Something else you can add on and play with, and and you know, use some of these people's abilities uh, to your advantage. And they all have kind of a unique special ability. So this is, I guess, this is your leaders in alliance, I guess, part of it. But um, so that's cool. Those are nice thick boards. New, more game content, right? And if you like Vindication, then you're going to like more game content. i got to push these out here. So there's your insert. So to put, like, some of your new, the new stuff, you've got a cards, new cards. We'll crack those open. And I think these are your characters as Wretched and Vindicated. So you can use you can use these in the standees, and you can kind of store them here if you want. Or you can store them in the, the uh, originals, um, original games storage case. I think it might all fit in there. Uh, it might not be able to fit in there with the standee, but it might all fit in there nonetheless. So you got a punch board of that, and that's really thick there. Then you've got, uh, don't know what all this is. This might, might be, maybe that has something to do with the solo game. I don't know. But uh looks like you punch these out, so you've got some stuff you can put you know put in there to keep track maybe there's cubes or something else in there you got some new uh locations that you can punch out and so you got some more locations that you can go to uh and they're explained in that book there and there you know just, and then you got the cards and that, that's all you have so it's not not a ton of stuff in here but um it looks interesting it looks like it would it would add to the gameplay it's going to add up the anytime you add expansions you're going to add some complexity uh, there was already some pre-built expansions in the base game but um you know it doesn't look like the, the, the i mean if you add everything in then you're definitely going to have a more complex game but if you mix and match and pick and choose and you might be able to ratchet up the complexity just the way you like it and still have fun with it all so there's some of the cards you get in here. So these are solo adventures. There's more traits, some new traits. There's some new companions and the like there. So that is what you get in. So those go right there. See how that's all indented right there? That's what you get in the box of um, leaders and alliances. But we're not going to stop there. Let's just crank on through. We've got a Vindication 12-card community pack. Let's just see what we got in here. Oh, it's got cards. I feel like I'm back to my old Magic the Gathering addiction, opening up packs here. Which was it? Was it the second from the bottom or the, the third from the bottom that was the rare or the ultra rare or what have you? My goodness, these things are, are definitely childproof. Let's use a little bit of a little bit of aid there. Ah, uh, there we go, man. They don't make it easy for us old folks. Um, some more cards here. So we got some more traits, some more pets, some more monsters, relics, companions, and there you have it. So a nice little addition there. 
And again, I don't know if, if the bundle, the person I got this auction from, they had this all was part of a Kickstarter set. And so um, that's what they were selling the bundle off as. But um, I don't know. I like it. It's cool. Works for me. Then we got some some hunks of plastic here. You got Tuk Tuk or Tuk Tuk or if we're in Canada, that'd be a Tuk, right? So look at that guy. Big old hunk of plastic there. And if I don't want to use him for uh, for this game, I can pull him out and use him for um, one of my other fantasy or sci-fi games. Look at that. It's kind of like the the thing from the Fantastic Four went uh, got on steroids or something there. But uh, there's that. And then we got another Tuk Tuk. So this is the promotional one. So I don't know. Is there a... Does, does he hook up and that's what uh, that's what he looks like or I don't know why do I have two maybe I'll have to read in the rules or maybe this is I mean I don't think these minis are really used a lot in the game anyway and now I've got two of the same so talk about you know redundancy or being superfluous and there we go so I don't know which one which model do you guys like the better there So maybe it's mini toque. You got toque and mini toque. Anyway, so that is what you get in the box of leaders in expansion with a little bit of extra on the uh, 12 card community pack and the toque toque minis. And there you have it. So thanks for spending some time with me on a special late night sci fi fantasy saturday as always i like you guys stopping by enjoy it appreciate it uh if you have any comments on this you know if you guys are here for the war games then probably won't have any comments about this but you know if you're here to just explore and see what else is happening out there and especially on my saturdays where i do some of this off the beaten path stuff love to hear your comments what do you guys think about this anyway as always you know, thank you for spending any bit of time with me. I know it's precious, so any time you spend is greatly appreciated. And hey, have a good rest of the evening. Thanks for watching.